This is with the bed made up. Note also that this flap is up, so if the head is on, you're not going to uh, have any fire risk and, and damage there. So you can fit two adults along there, or uh, three uh, children the other direction. Yeah. This is the front section of the caravan. The television is stored here in the cardboard box, and please keep it in the cardboard box. You'll need to auto-tune the channels because the caravan's at different locations on different uh, television signals. That's the motor mover box, which you probably won't need to see. Under here is the inbuilt water tank. This is only on the larger van. You probably won't use this. You can use the external barrel simply because it's a little bit more complex to set up. If it is used, it needs to be drained using the drain tap over here, down in front of it when you leave. And there's a, uh, a tap over here in the rear, and that needs to go to the straight through position to fill the tank up. If the tank is filled up and it overflows, the water will come out the bottom of the caravan through a little drain plate. This is the hot water tank. You've got 10 litres of hot water, and that can go on electricity or gas or both at the same time. If it's on electricity, it's 70 degrees Celsius and not adjustable, so that's a bit too hot for young children. But the gas temperature is adjustable, so that's a grey tank here. To make your bedding, should you choose to make bedding in the front, where you should have to fit uh, two adults or uh, three children, you can slide out these rails here. It just goes over those brown circular pieces there, and this goes up here to protect anything getting overly hot with the heater on. And that back like so. Of course you've got drawers that open here, storage drawers here, and again you can access both things here, but you probably will have difficulty pulling the television out through this little drawer, it's a little bit tight. This is the fly screen blind, which you can put all the way down and it will latch. Very important to unlatch it, you've got to press it down and press the very bottom of it towards you. You can see I'm rotating that slightly and then it slips down. If you can look over here you'll see a little latch mechanism and you need to follow when you're pulling it out the shape of that latch. If you don't do that you'll end up breaking the little plastic guides on the bottom of it. And again you've got a total block out which you can do the same thing and again I'm going to push that down, rotate the bottom towards me and it pulls up very nicely. If you don't do that, you'll end up trying to pull on it and it's just going to break. All the windows can open. There are these little latches here and um, you can undo those and tighten them up. They are not terribly strong, so again be very careful that they aren't uh, broken. See like so, you can open that and tighten that and tighten that. This is the heater. It can run on 240 volt only. The gas is disconnected because it's not compliant. There is a switch here for A for automatic or variable here and the fit speed of the fan will vary according to where the knob is placed. You want to turn this off uh, when you're done because you'll be drawing power from your 12 volt battery. Important to have a fan on when the heater's on otherwise it's going to get too hot internally and not distribute the heat around the place. Throughout the van there are ducts, but I tend to keep the front ducts closed because it's close to the heater and leave the van ducts towards the rear of the van, like under the bed, I will leave them open for the ducted heating to go through there. There's lots of storage no matter where you look in the van, as far as for all your, your cutlery, utensils, uh, things for your kitchen. Under here again you've got lots of storage with more kitchen bits. Here you've got knives and various things like that, toaster. As far as your stove goes, you'll of course need your gas turned on and remember to uh, press the button on the safety valve. You have one electric plate and three gas plates. The gas and electricity will not go unless that lid is pushed fully back 
otherwise your things won't light. To get the igniter to work, your 12 volts must be on. If it's not on, it won't light. So we should have to just turn the knob, press the button in on the gas, and then ignite. And you can see there we have gas. If that lid's closed slightly, it turns off. There's a, a griller in an oven and an oven drawer down the bottom. In this section here, there's an additional table that you can use for uh, eating on down the dining end of the van. Your television cabinet. Very important not to travel with television or microwave in this section here. A TV signal booster that will be left on as long as your 12 volts is on. There's also a cigarette lighter plug if you need 12 volts for something and a television antenna here. On the large van only, the motor mover control panel is stored up here away from little children etc. And the television remote control will be stored here too. The microwave you can either put in this cupboard here, sorry on the, if it's the medium van or if it's the other van you've got the microwave permanently stored here. There is a tray here that slides down and of course you can use that for cooking and putting your microwave on as well. Very important that the tray goes up when you're moving the van otherwise you'll end up uh, damaging it and that edge there is going to be forced and break down so make sure that that is latched like so. There's lots of storage space in the cupboards uh, all around the van here too. Um, there's skylights which you'd normally uh, not leave up like so, but you can have that in a position like this and then these black little lugs uh, lock on there and that can go like so and goes like so. When you undo these little lugs here you have to press the little black button here to release that. If you don't press that and you try and force it like this you'll end up breaking the latches. So again just press that down like so. Again this has got a fly screen one direction and it's got total blackout the other direction. There's an aircon in the centre of the van there and that's pretty self-explanatory. The remote control is also on the bed uh, on the side at, at the head of the bed. The remote control for the aircon is velcroed on the wall and that's pretty self-explanatory there. Underneath the bed there's a lot of storage space and all you need to do is lift the bed up like so and then you can see things like your waste water barrel if you uh, don't have a waste spot you can put those grey pipes here into the waste barrel there and the forked grey part goes underneath the van we show that on the video outside as far as pushing the bed down, it's important that you do it from the centre of the bed, not one of the corners, otherwise you'll twist it, and just put a reasonable amount of weight on here, and that will very nicely close down. This is a shower which is pretty uh, self-explanatory. You can adjust the height of your shower by this uh, little screw on, on the back here. There is a, a light in the shower, you can uh, hang things for drying in here. The shower mat there you take out when you're in the shower but you can dry yourself and put on the carpet. If it does get wet remember to dry it out so it doesn't get uh, smelly or damp or that sort of thing. Over here is a concertina blind and as long as it's not stuck on the uh, carpet below. That of course will give you some privacy. Your fridge. This is the fridge. To turn it on to gas, make sure that you have gas in the bottle, that the safety, that it's turned on, that you've depressed the little gauge on the ga uh, gas safety fuse, otherwise you won't have gas in the system. Your 12 volts has got to be on for anything to ignite. Turn it on to gas. You hear tick, 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 and that little light goes a very dull amber. 
if you turn it to 230 volts it will automatically go when it's on 230 volts and it will only go on 12 volts if you have an Anderson connector on the rear of your vehicle. Most people will not have this. The top of the fridge, I'll slide that to the right to unlock. That's your freezer section there. To lock it, move that to the left. This is your fridge here. You'll probably see a electric thermometer in there too. The digital one down there. Uh, if this doesn't lock, you may need to simply push the door up slightly and slide that to the right. Above the door of the caravan is the electrical control panel. The most important switch is this one here. If that is off, you have no 12 volts and your gas won't ignite, your lights internally won't go, uh, pretty much nothing will go. Um, you can look at your voltmeter here and press that and it will tell you how much uh, voltage is in there. If you've got the internal water tank used, which most people probably won't, that will tell you how much water is in the gauge. If you're using the external water pump, you'll need that, I believe, in the down position there. This switch here will turn on the exterior light switch. And I think the light that goes above the main bed. There are some other switches on the side of the door here. The first one is for electric hot water. Sorry, that's electric... Uh, storage heater, that's the one over there. You can set the temperature of the thermostat on there and you can set it to uh, 500 watts, 1000 watts and 2000 watts. I tend to not have it on 2000 watts because you would exceed the uh, rating of your 240 volt plug. This one here is your uh, gas hot water. You can just turn it on like so. You'll hear click, 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 click at the front of the van and then your gas will be on and you can set the temperature by this dial here. Of course make sure you've got water in the system otherwise you're going to fry things. This section may vary from one van to another. The fire extinguisher is there and the fire blanket. There's also the light uh, which you can see from outside the van too. Underneath here is the electrical control panel and again this may vary from one van to another. The switches you need to look at is um, car van should always be down, space heater you only put on when you want your electric heater on, water heater only have on when you want your water hot water on and very important to make sure that there is water in the grey water container when that's turned on. Battery charger here you always want to leave on because whenever you've got 240 volts you want to be charging uh, the battery that's inside.